Hello everyone, this is Cesar and finally I found the time to upload a video. Uh, it's been really very busy at work, but really very, very busy during these past two weeks. And on top of that, during the weekends, I've been recording for some people that I record for them uh, on a, let's say, regular basis. And this time I've been recording some classical guitar and I have done it through my Helix. And this is what I wanted to share with you. Usually in YouTube, you see uh, people using the Helix and the Kempers uh, with electric guitars, rock, etc. gain, but not a lot of them using their nylon strings classical guitars through Helix or Kemper. Right? In my channel, you, if you follow my channel, you will see that I have several, several covers uh, with nylon guitars, whether it is my Alhambra or my um, Yamaha uh, silent guitar through the Kemper. But this time I've been using Helix and I am extremely satisfied and the recordings have been absolutely great. And this is what I wanted to share with you. First, allow me to show you how it sounds. And after that, we're going to talk a little bit about simulators, tube amps, etc. Okay, let's go. Well, I think it sounds great, right? And that's precisely my point. I've been watching several videos in YouTube, several big YouTubers with channels much bigger than my channel. And they were talking about playing through simulators, the Kempers and the Helix, right? And well, in my opinion, they, they have shown a pretty negative view of those devices. And let me just tell you what is my perspective, right? From someone that really uses them, I record on a constant basis, right? Much more than I do for YouTube. In any case, first, I think they sound absolutely great. You can follow my channel. As I said, I have covers with Kempers a lot, covers with Helix is two years playing Kemper and six months more or less playing Helix. So first, they sound great. Second, and for me, that's really very, very, very important. Every recording session, they sound exactly the same. I mean, the, there's no variability. You can tweak the presets, the presets, and you can tweak uh, the different setups, and you can adapt the sound, but every time they are going to sound exactly the same, right? This is reliability. Uh, and my uh, Hughes and Kettner and my Jubilee, well, I have to say that every night they were sounding different, to be honest, right? The other one is that I put them on the trunk of my car, take them to the studio and record, and that's it. 
right? And sincerely speaking, I think they are extremely convenient. That you have everything eh, at the tip of your foot. Eh? The tuner, the different presets, thousands, hundreds of thousands of different rigs, profiles, etc. that I have stored and I have created and some of them I have borrowed from other people that are using Kemper's and Helix. Honestly, I really think there will come a point in time where everybody is going to use them. In fact, there are a lot of big names out there, not that I care too much, but a lot of big names out there that are using them. And uh, there is a guy that is one of my favorite, let's say, modern guitarists, Pete Thorne, that is playing through a Helix in big tours, right? So my point here is that in my opinion, there are people with an extremely negative view on those devices. I use both of them. I use my tube amps and I use my Kemper and my Helix. And I can tell you that already for more than two years, I'm only using Kemper and for six months, I'm using Helix. And I have to tell you something, though at the beginning, I was much more into Kemper. It took me a bit to get used to my Helix. Now I have to tell you that I'm enjoying the Helix a lot. In fact, I am going to upload the video uh, about my two years with Kemper and my six months more or less with Helix and, and how, in my opinion always, of course, this is just my humble opinion, how do I find working with both of them? Well, guys, I mean, those were my two cents on this discussion about the simulators. To me, they are much more than simulators. I remember I had one of those poles, the, the one that was like a kidney, the red one, I think it was a Line 6, yes. I mean, many years ago, one of the first ones, and it was terrible compared to what we have today. Technology has come a long way. I think they are not going to get much better than they are. I think it's really difficult. I think they are going to get much cheaper than they are because the technology is going to be much more affordable. And this is, as I say, just my humble opinion. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. Remember, 15,000 subs and we will give away uh, the fantastic Chapman guitar. I will put a link in the description section. It's taking some time, but hey, I don't have, I'm not in any hurry, right? And see you very soon in my next video. Up to that moment, please play your guitars, have fun and be good. I promise I will be more constant uploading. It has been simply a very, very busy period. Lessons will come back covers will come back, right? And please don't forget, there's life beyond the tube amps. Take care, guys. Bye.